So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second half of the NFL season. Folks, it is already week 10 in the NFL. Head over to westernslopenow.com slash contest for a chance to win a $200 gas card. Let's get to some picks. Boy, a great game in our nation's capital. Some might say the biggest thing to happen in D.C. this week. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers at 6-2 coming off a bye. It's the Commanders on a three-game win streak. The great physical defense of the Steelers against the high-flying offense of the Washington Commanders. It's going to be a great game at FedEx Field where there will be plenty of terrible towels in the stands. But I'm going to ride with the Commanders here. I like Jane Daniels and that offense to continue to hum and get it done over Russell Wilson. Wilson and the Steelers down in Tampa. Boy, the Bucks took the undefeated Chiefs to overtime on Monday, and they've looked pretty good, even without Mike Evans and Chris Godwin in the lineup. The 49ers, they get plenty of rest for this one. Coming off a bye, and they might even have Christian McCaffrey finally back on Sunday. He makes a big difference in that offense, so I'll take the Niners to win it. But I think Tampa at home with Baker Mayfield, the way he's been playing, they can cover the six points. Bucks cover, Niners win it 30 to 26. In Kansas City, who will be the first team to down the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs? They just continue to escape with a victory week in and week out. Last week in overtime, this week it's the Denver Broncos in town. And you just know Sean Payne's crew is itching to get after it following a rather abysmal second half in Baltimore last week. And the question really is what Broncos team will show up and more specifically what Broncos defense will show up. I think they're going to come in angry following last week's 31 point dismantling. But I think Mahomes does enough to get the victory here. 23-17, but again, eight point spread. I think the Broncos, they can cover an arrowhead. Just a tough spot on the road against the champion Chiefs. And finally, we have got quite the treat for Sunday night football in Houston, Texas. And folks, I get that the Chiefs are undefeated, but I watch football with my eyes. And my eyes are telling me that the Detroit Lions are the best team in football. That offense is so loaded with the skill players they have. It's so fun to watch. The Texans, they're also loaded, but unfortunately, they're hurt. Nico Collins still hurts. Stephon Diggs out for the year. So Houston will likely have to rely on Joe Mixon and the running game to compete in this one. I think it's a big game for Mixon, but an even bigger game for Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery for Detroit. The Lions, they stay hot, stay rolling in the Lone Star State 31 to 26. So folks, there you have it. Another great weekend of football is on the way and you can be the big winner just by making your picks at westernslopenow.com slash contest. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.